I love that in front of my name, hot. Hi! Yes, thank you! How are y'all doing tonight? Good, awesome. All right, I'm gonna talk tonight about uh, something that I think we all Americans have in common, which is why we find accents so intriguing and sexy and, and hot. Um, and hi, what's your name? M Melissa? She was drinking a soda, sorry. Melissa, I'm Josh, everybody, Melissa. Melissa, if I were to ask you to go home with me at night in this simple American voice, you would probably say, good answer. Um, <laughs> but let's uh, see if I, I'm just, yeah, I know that's your guy, so I'm not gonna really ask. But if I, uh, <laughs> this is awkward. Um, I'm just kidding, it's fun. Um, if I were to ask you in a Scottish accent, and perhaps say, all right, Melissa, would you care to come back to my place tonight for a shag or perhaps some haggis? <laughs> Say what you will, yeah, but I know some serotonin levels in you probably shot up a spike <laughs> or two. And that's a, the point here for all my young single male friends out there that want to learn new ways to deceive women. <laughs> is that if you go up to them with, with an accent sounding like you're from the land of shitty weather and bad teeth and kilts, you have a good chance. Go with me for a second. I go up to a girl at a bar um, and I ask her if I can buy her a drink. Or, I'm sorry, do you have the time? Or I basically just eye fuck her until she says, what, what the hell are you looking at, you creep? Um, <laughs> and as a 5'10 white Jew in LA who can't put her in a movie, not really gonna get anywhere. <laughs> but, little rewind right here, if I say, all right, hi, uh, me and my mates just got off the plane from Scotland and we were wondering what the time difference is over here. Well, the next thing you know, cleavage is in your face and you know, shag away and it's, it's awesome until the next morning when you forget to use the accent. But, <laughs> yeah. But we all know there aren't a plethora of beautiful single women out there waiting for young, sh you know, shady bastards like me to come up to them and, and use a fake accent. There's always the guy that wants to be more than a friend, but he's not more than a friend with her, so he's a real pissed off friend, like the bad guy in the 80s movies. Um, let's just call him Cockblock for the sake of this joke. Well, CB for short. So you go up to this girl and you're talking to her, but CB comes up to you and he goes, hey, bro, 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 dude, bro. Bro, dude. He, she's not interested, bro, dude. And as American Josh, I can't really do anything because he'll be bigger than me and he'll throw fisticuffs and I'll get a broken tooth and no one looks good with a broken tooth. So you walk away. But as Scottish Josh, you say, all right, sorry, mate. I didn't realize she wasn't interested. Have a great night. God bless. Cheers. <laughs> you, uh, you, you start to walk away. The next thing you know, CB's arms around you. And he's going like, whoa, Scottish bro dude. I fucking love Braveheart. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my God, freedom. And so then he starts buying you and the girls drinks for the rest of the night, but of course he won't stop giving you a hand job underneath the table because well, let's face it, you'd be the best wingman he's ever had his entire life. But I mean, that Scottish accent, even as a Jewish guy, I can watch Braveheart and still get a hard on from Mel Gibson. <laughs> but it's of course after the movie, I want to plug his asshole tight and force feed him bagel and locks. But that's that that's coming up soon for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. <laughs> um, but the the last thing I can say about uh, accents is that if you are going to 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 do such a shady endeavor, which sometimes works, um, is make sure you can speak the language of said accent, because I can't speak a word of French, but I can do a French accent decently. Um, and one of, you'll meet one of two kinds of women when you do this. So you go up to them and you say, Hello, my name is uh, Jean-Pierre. I am uh, from, from Paris. I came into LA to meet uh, celebrity Johnny Depp, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, Scott Baio, 45 in single, very cool. Uh, and the, uh, the first kind of girl will say to you, oh my God, I wrote my dissertation on French politics of 1944. Let's go to Coffee Bean, because it's better than Starbucks, and grab some lattes and speak in French for like an hour. <laughs> and then you're fucked. Um, and of course, the, uh, the second kind of girl will say to you, oh my God, you speak French. 
what does Willie Le Couchet have like, well, really mean because Christina Aguilera sang in that song one time? <laughs> and then you just want to shoot yourself in the foot. Thank you very much, guys. I'm Josh. Have a great night.